Hello everyone and welcome to Loba Jotodoku and today we have a video about action figure news the first one for April 2020 I know there's not been a lot of videos lately unfortunately this COVID-19 situation has been making life really hard for me but I'm trying to make it up to you guys and we have a bunch of news from Obby Search Japan a lot of new figures for reserve uh, so let's check it out and we are going to start with Figmas, and it's Figma Sekiro that has two different versions. So we already talked about this before in, I think, was Wonder Festival video. And we have the normal version that is coming out more or less at $80 price point, January 2021. And it's up for reserve, but then you have the special version that is $100. And it brings a bunch of extra accessories. Now it brings this backstage with death, the statue, the shield, another weapon, this thing that I don't know what it is. The figure itself looks very good, I gotta say. I had seen like the previous unpainted version and the paint version. If it is coming out like this, it's one of the best looking paint jobs that I've seen from Figma in a while. Uh, but let's move on and we're moving on to Bato. This one is something that I definitely need to get. Because I have Motoko, I'm a big fan of Ghost in the Shell, Standalone Complex, and this is the version from Standalone Complex. More or less $71, coming out December 2020. Again, very good looking, and a very simplistic figure. It's not, uh, they didn't go overboard, I think you have like, I'm not, I'm not sure if, four faces? If that's four faces, that's actually very good, very rare to get so many faces. We have the gun, you have the... Um, the machine gun again it's enough it's enough for what we need with Bato then we have a bunch of play art sky now I've not been collecting a lot of play art sky because they're extremely expensive and very big and not easy to pose but I gotta say with the prices of almost every other brand going up play art sky is not looking as expensive as it used to look because now they're almost at the same price point as all of the other brands uh, so they are bringing out four figures all of the same price point but in different months we have this one at November 2020 110 and it's Arius from Final Fantasy 7 remake and I gotta say actually brings a cool amount of accessories one weapon a bunch of hands we have a basket with flowers and have two faces so not bad at all and again they are very good looking Final Fantasy characters are something that Play Up Sky do very well because it's Square Enix, come on. And we have Tifa Lockhart. Again, I have a Tifa Lockhart from the Final Fantasy VII Adventure movie and I love that figure. It's one of my favorite figures that I own. And this one is also looking amazing, even though I like the face from the one that I have better. And this one, I'm not sure if it actually brings two faces or not, or just one face. It's confusing to me in the images that we see if it brings only one face or two faces but I think it only brings one but I'm confused maybe it brings two let's see if the description says anything at all replacement face also it does have a replacement face that's better that I so it's very similar to the one that I have in terms of accessories brings two different air, uh, or three different air parts and this one is coming out October 2020, so earlier. And parts the black hair parts that further. Okay, so definitely a very good looking figure. Um, I may think about it. Then we have Barrett, but this version 2, because when they announced the Final Fantasy remake in that small trailer, they put Barrett and, and Cloud Strife. And they did actually two figures for those versions that appeared on that trailer. But because they changed the overall look of the characters uh, in the final game, they're releasing the new versions that actually match the game. So it's just a way for they making even more money. And this one is coming out September 2020. Again, the price point is keeping consistent. This one brings a lot less accessories than the other two, I think. And then we have Cloud Strife coming out earlier than all of them in July 2020. It's very similar to the other version. I don't see 
that much of a difference. Maybe the color of the hair is a bigger difference. Because otherwise it's very similar to the one that it's already out. Then we have some Jojo figures and we have is Okuyosua, Nijimura and Isten Hound coming out October 2020, both of them at similar price point, $57 more or less and it's it's Jojo, they're good looking figures. Um, this one is a re-release and this one is, is also a re-release so there's no changes from the ones that were already out they're just re-releasing jojo because jojo is still very popular because it's an amazing anime come on then we have this figma kitsune tadanubu i have no idea what this is yoshitsuno symbol zakura whatever i don't know if this is an anime or whatever this is <sighs> The figma itself looks okay. Uh, very expensive one. Very expensive. $125. Very expensive. I don't know what the hell is this. But it's super expensive. December 2020. But it's not for me. Then we have Figma Ejiro Kirichima from One My Hero Academia. $62. Not bad. It's not a bad price. October 2020. Very interesting character, I love My Hero Academia, like most people like My Hero Academia, so it's a very fun anime. And it's actually, you know, a decent looking figure. Uh, so far I think they, they have nailed the look of the show in the every Figma they, they, they did. And then we have Figma Ruin, and this is, I have no idea, Call of Duty. <laughs> okay, so this is from Call of Duty, it's a character from Call of Duty. It's Call of Duty. And okay, it's looks okay. But not not that big fan of Call of Duty, but it's a okay mercenary looking guy. Uh, almost eighty dollars. That's expensive. That's expensive. It's very expensive. December twenty twenty. It's a very expensive. Uh, definitely would not. I will not get this because I have other uh, figmas prioritized for the, the, those times. Then we have Figma Merlin, $75. Now this one I can justify a little bit better the pricing, because I think it's a more complex Figma than for example that Call of Duty one. But still very expensive, but again, again very good looking Figma. Um, it's Fate. Fate figures normally are some of the best Figmas out there. Just, I think it, it definitely looks very good, November 2020. Then it's the, we have two very weird things because Figma has those you no know, female and boy characters that are very generic, and that you can uh, apparently now have like clothing that you can dress them with. Just and these are very like cloth, so th that's actually a cool idea. I think, I think the idea, especially for example, if you're a drawer of having like some generic characters that you can buy clothes for. And then you can like use them to draw. It's actually a very cool idea, I think. So you have actually the clothes uh, themselves selling separate if you already have the figure. But then you have the figure with the clothes. The figure with the clothes, I, the pricing almost goes to I think like a normal Figma. But again, it's. I can see this being useful for again people who draw or like that. I don't. I wouldn't have that just in my collection. And finally, we have another super figure action. Jojo Bizarre Adventure is Guido Mista and ASP. Um, so the is special bullets, and it's also a release October twenty twenty. Again, the same pricing, fifty-seven dollars more or less. And it again, these these uh, JoJo are always very fun, especially with so much accessories. Uh, so yeah, uh, definitely if you're a JoJo fan, opportunities of getting back the JoJo figures are coming more and more. And that's basically it for reserves. I think there's nothing else. Um, wait, not restock. That's not what I wanted. I want new. So, things that I it just came out this month. 
so that you may be still able to get in stock let me see if there's anything interesting but because of all this confusion i doubt that april was that great of a month in terms of releases i'm still looking see i didn't see anything we have this one Asset figure out Son Goku Ultra Instinct, still available, $56. Uh, it's very similar to the Goku that already existed, but of course in the Ultra Instinct form. Um, it's, a, it's a very good looking figure. Very simplistic, I think it looks okay. I actually think like this one could actually have potential for customization. I don't know, if there's like a KO ever coming out of this figure. I can imagine turning this in and improving a lot. It's hard to do with a figure that is so expensive, but with a KO we can definitely go crazy in, in terms of battle damaging this guy. So I hope you enjoyed it and tell me in the comment section below which figures are you excited for and don't forget stay safe in this pandemic time, but let's not stop collecting. See you next time. Do it! Just...